Hey wizard fans, may the fourth be with you. Quick vlog before I get to work, I have a little bit of time, share some news with you and some personal insights. I got invited to speak on the Green Party, Illinois Green Party's podcast live stream later this month on the 22nd. I'll be talking live about my experience through the climate activism journey to acceptance where I'm at now more on that in a moment but yeah that's kind of exciting my first live podcast interview I have to come up with a bio or kind of a short intro to introduce myself I guess now I'm just a YouTuber, YouTuber like the rest of them, nothing fancy, uh, but I do have, you know, a great subscriber base and definitely the content to back it up. Uh, yeah, it's been a journey. I definitely feel completed and successful about the whole thing. So yeah, tune in more for that. I'll post the link. You know, when the time gets closer, you can tune in. I'm sure I'll find a way to republish it on my own channel. I'll get rights to that. So, that should be fun. And I know my subscribers come from all varying different backgrounds and places in the world. And I don't often mention my own coping mechanisms, well, sort of, you know, I definitely give advice on how to live these remaining years, but, you know, if you know, you know, and I see families all the time, and I think now to myself, how in the world would I sit down with them and actually thoroughly explain complex intertwining systems which span across a, a plethora of knowledge domains from you know biology to physics and economics it's just it's too much it's too much and once the people once you get the full grasp of the picture how it's all connected and how little we're doing then you kinda start on this journey of course I got a, a nudge as you guys had seen quite or heard in my video years ago I got a nudge in this direction though I would have probably caught up regardless because of just the headline news um, and happenings in the world I would have eventually caught up but, you know that's neither here nor there I'm not gonna lament on the past but here I'm at you know in a deep form of acceptance and with every new content that other creators publish about tactics and ways we can mitigate this crisis, I still don't see any tangible progress, okay? I say that over and over. I, I don't see, I see people continually see buying bulk at grocery stores and, I mean, we have no, we have zero clue how to go to how to eliminate carbon how to get off fossil fuels we have zero clue all right collectively individually even if we do individually i mean this would literally take you know everybody turning to each other in our neighborhoods in the grocery stores you know and i don't see that here now later anytime i don't see it anytime the amount of pushback i've received in activism let alone just being a regular person has been tremendous so, so much so that I've been pushed into this corner. You know, you, people may think I'm hardcore or fell into despair. No, I've been through the whole journey, you know, of getting out there, talking to people, being on the ground floor, whatever. You know, you know what I mean. So, yeah, I practice what I preach. And for all the people, I want to cover this. I mean, look, things are crazy right now. Prices are skyrocketing, you know. Putin's threatening World War Three, and China and Russia are definitely going to use our default as a chance to um, make America seem 
like a crazy place and that we can't rely on the US dollar. There are so many bad dominoes set up right now that it's it, no one can predict the future. No one can. But using probable, you know, deduction, using deduction, you can reason that it's not faring well at all. All right, so I started that off with a bit of good news, and this is a vlog, and I could go through some other news, you know, about record temperatures and droughts, floods all over the world, all over the world. This El Nino, can you say El Nino ten times over? El Nino, El Nino, you know, it's like all over the news. Every single science article website's covering it, you know, anticipating this big rise in global average temperature and disasters. Just need to just break from it, just break from it. Weather's finally warming up. And I'm in a peculiar position. Look, I'm grateful for so much. I'm not in torrential floods in Rwanda. I'm not starving in hell, like Mumbai. I don't live off wage. I don't live off, you know, wages less than $10 a day. You know, I am, I am so universally blessed. Right place, right time. And as soon as you realize that, as soon as you realize that you could have been born looking totally different and working in a nail shop. Look, no offense to nail practitioners. I don't know how we got off in this subject, but I'm telling you, gratefulness, gratefulness for what you have and where you're at and what you've been given. And even despite family disowning you, I hear that a lot on my streams and on other channels uh, about this notion of, you know, expressing they, they should trust you, you know, that I think that's a part, I think that's really narcissistic abuse. Because in a tribe, in a real setting, if someone came forward with information that would be potentially harmful, that would indicate the whole tribe would be wiped out, then that, what we would, in a sane society, we would, you know, I know denial's rampant in any civiliz civilization, so I'm, a, I'm explaining this just for the hell of it. People are going to deny it, but in a sane living situation, I know we're all tribal and we all fight each other. Look, there's a complexity of issues, but if a person came forward with information that was potentially harmful to the entire group, then the elders and the people responsible would take charge and take heed to this warning and start making actions or make appropriate decisions. Instead, your family members, like, push you away and disown you. And I, I think that's abusive. I think that's, that's emotional abuse, disregarding what you have to say, when it's based off facts and science and data, reality. This isn't the poles shifting or some fringe theory. Like, this is actually backed up. This isn't Jordan Peterson saying this. This is actually backed up. Quantifiable measurements. So, at that case, you just have to individuate from narcissistic abuse, which I'm, I'm framing this under, is when people disregard what you have to say and go inwards and and tune you out, is you just individuate. You just go into your... You do the same and, and break away. Break away. Find your own... And being an artist, creative person is like all about finding your voice. This channel, I've definitely explored that. And that helps. So I, I don't know, maybe my my predisposition towards being a creator helped me into break free from the shackles of expectations of others, of family, society. You know, don't get me wrong, okay? I'm not some stoic living under, you know, a rock. Like, a clearly, and I still don't think relationships last long term. I uh, Some of the greatest, side note, greatest, I thought, relationships in my life. Like, people I thought, oh man, these they're perfect together. They look like they're made for each other. They're going to be together forever. They almost, almost all of them have, have broken up or become miserable, fallen into entropy. That doesn't mean that I still don't, like, want intimacy for myself or want to go on a date. Okay, I hope to go on a date this year. Just a date. Just meet another girl, a, 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 a person. You know what I'm saying? Have an exchange. I know, people don't want to go out. Anyways... Back on the point of family incriminating you for bringing forward your concerns, I just, I cut, I kind of cut them off, and I'll be honest, like, I don't, I didn't have, I didn't come from a good family, I don't approve of my family members, I, I rejected them, 
they they put me up through so much narcissistic abuse throughout my life and knowing this information being incited by the the relevant the relevancy of it and how much time short how much time was short it pushed me into corner to realize wow i didn't ask for any of this you could have been born in thailand you know a sex slave no i didn't ask for this instead i got this i got these cells and i'm i feel great and i could take i could take responsibility and take advantage of this opportunity that i've been given and just and push it out and and do something good with myself which is inform others about our collapse about losing everything and so that's what I did. That's why I'm not ashamed of this channel, of who I am. People think I'm, you know, again, this the gaslighting. Oh, you're crazy or whatever. No, the, it's real world. Like, you can see it. You can feel it happening. Or you're just on autopilot and tuned out, and that's what a lot of people are. So didn't mean to, did mean to rant off on a few things. You know, I've had, circ I just, I guess to wrap that up, I have had circumstances in my life which has pushed me into a place where, okay, pretty much I just said, F it, I'm going balls to the wall, like going all out and, you know, throwing myself into something worthy, a cause. And for a long, and that was, and then I was even felt like a fool for believing, for trusting in people. You know, trusting that, that people would have the same conclusions as I did given the information that's widely available now on mainstream media. But the cultural indoctrination and systems in place have set it so much so that it's impossible to move maneuver out of. I, I, there's no fleeting chance of even remotely trying to eliminate carbon emissions, okay? We're going to keep pumping them, and we're going to turn our world into a complete hellscape. For all the children, I know I can just feel bad for them all day. My ex would say, "Oh, don't feel bad for the kids. You know, they just—they didn't ask. Like, there's, that's, that's wasted energy." Well, yeah, but I'm human. I can't help but see an infant, you know, with some Gen X parents, clueless morons at the grocery store. Two of them, you know, in their arms, looking at them like, "Do you not think that we're in a climate emergency, a crisis right now? Do you not think that we have a..." You think we have a future? You're a horrible person. Fact. Ugh. Didn't mean to get heated. I'm good. Like I said, it feels like destiny for me to, you know, create this channel, the circumstances, and, and ha partly my cho and partly my choice. And and back on my subscribers, I need to be understanding that everybody's in different places not everybody's a content creator has you know skills to edit videos or like just everybody can participate in activism i still try to tap into a lot of you know where my subscribers are at but the best advice i can give is if people keep gaslighting you and you have this kind of like love them still you know feel connect some paternal connection i'd say just sever it as much as possible it's part of becoming an adult it's moving on you didn't ask to be born you didn't ask them to, you know, I think it was kind of, I think having a child is kind of selfish, definitely. You're thinking about yourself, or you may be thinking about having a family, but at this point, it's definitely selfish. And nearsighted and foolish and all kinds of things. Alright, kind of losing my steam. Um, keep doing what gives you joy. That's my, you know, my fallback advice. Alright. Been a nice chat. Just a vlog before I get to work. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.